Hello and welcome to the ASUG News Studio at ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now. I'm Craig Powers and uh, I'm here today to uh, host a great panel that I'm really excited about, about a topic, you know, as a, as a journalist that covers success factors I hear a lot about, which is HR analytics. And I have three great thought leaders in the industry of HR to uh, joining me. Uh, of course, Sherry and Meyer, um, our own ASUG HR community <laughs> advocate. Uh, David Swanson, who's the Executive Vice President of HR at SAP. And then one of the coolest titles I've ever heard, uh, Jenny Dearborn, <laughs> who's the Chief Learning Officer at SAP, as well as the Senior Vice President. So it's great to have you all on. Um, I guess I'll dive right into it. I'm gonna ask you, Sherry, as the customer representative here, uh, what are customers saying about HR analytics? They all want it. They all know they should have it. I don't think they know exactly what it means. I think they may, still think it means reporting. And they don't really know if you really explain to them that analytics is doing something with that reporting. They don't know what they should be defining, how to right. define the story that they want to tell through analytics. Right. So exactly, it's you know, it, it's not BI. It's analytics. It's, it's right. It's the answers out of the data. Right. What, what can you do to predict the future of something, whether it's recruiting or whatever's important to your company? Right. Um, how many hours you're going to need workforce for? You know, uh, who's coming up in succession? chain of command, those types of things. They don't really know what they need to define. That takes a better collaboration with business probably, but it also takes an understanding of what analytics can do and a kind of a roadmap, which I think Jenny's book does pretty well. I like that. Yeah, and um, I'm going to ask you, David, she's talking about these things, succession planning, important things in HR. What, is, what does HR analytics then have to do with you know, a company's bottom line? Yeah, it's a great question. And I think in HR, we're really good at reporting on activity. That's historically what we've done. Number of people right. hired, number of people fired. And where we have to move to, what Sherry Ann talks about, is this idea of impact. Where are we making a difference to the bottom line? So the people we hired last quarter, did they get productive faster than the people we hired before? The only way you can measure that is through analytics in terms of performance, time to productivity, quota attainment, whatever the metric might be. And that's where HR has to be to be successful going forward. Right, and that, you know, obviously driving towards the bottom line is important. And these days it seems everyone has you know, great systems and everyone is using analytics in all the other areas. Um, but is, is analytics, Jenny, one of kind of the, in HR, one of the sort of last places for competitive advantage? It's a significant area of opportunity for HR to really make an impact and really show its value. Um, HR needs to be much more aligned with business strategy and the goals and objectives of the organization. And when HR can get the, the business clients and the business executives to really clearly articulate those goals and objectives, then HR can back into that, well, what are the business problems that we're trying to solve that would meet these goals and objectives? And how can we enable and train and support employees towards those goals to meet those objectives? So HR can really use analytics to be much more purposeful and impactful and really align to the business more strongly. That's great, yeah. And so Aligning to the business more strongly is super, is very important because you know sometimes HR is on its own out there. So if 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 someone wants to get into HR analytics, how do they do it? I guess you know each of you could answer that one. I guess. Well, I think they need a little help. I think most HR people need a little help, um, and I think it, part of it comes from being coming actually more partners, more embed deeply embedded in your business, so you know what their business problems are, so you know what questions you're asking. The other part of it is becoming partners with your IT department, yes. because some of this is fairly technical and you'll need somebody, I think you mentioned when we talked on Monday, Jenny, that we yeah. need somebody to crunch some numbers for us or run some programs for us. So it's really a partnership, a three-way partnership, I guess, between HR, IT, and business areas to come up with the right answers. I would, I would say, say um, that the strongest piece of advice that I could give to young HR professionals is to rotate out of the out of HR, out of the function, into the business and experience that for a while and then rotate back mm -hmm. with those knowledge and skills and abilities. Um, one of the biggest barriers is that we don't, in HR, don't have that comfort level with analytics and data and metrics right. and some of the, I mean, in, in the book that I, uh, that I wrote, Data Driven, um, 
we use some pretty advanced statistics and algorithms and things like that to prove the value of learning and different enablement interventions. And um, you know, having those advanced, you know, almost mathematical degrees are really important, and it can be quite intimidating for people who have been in HR for a really long time. Yeah, that's that you know, that's fascinating advice to kind of move out of HR to and come back and come back. Yeah, yeah. Right. I like that idea yeah. very much. Yeah. What, what about you, David? Um, I, I would I say, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I would say make friends with somebody in marketing. Marketing is really good at That's using that. It's particularly digital That's marketing, true. and they know how to understand the concepts, how to actually start the process, and take, an, you know, take a marketing person to lunch or dinner and just say, look, tell me how you do your job. Yeah, and yeah, marketing, definitely, that's a, that's a, great, that's a great piece of advice again. Yeah. So, I'm going to wrap it up now, but um, I really appreciate you all coming on. Uh, you can go ahead and show your book there, yeah. <laughs> Jenny. Um, data driven, a lot more on HR analytics, right. I'm sure, yes. in there. And so I really appreciate you guys coming on. Thanks, right. thanks, Greg. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. And thank you for watching. For more great customer stories, head to asugnews.com.